Now we have team coverage of what led up to the arrest from Tiffany Tarpley and Rachel Polanski is following just where all that money came from. Tiffany, let's start by breaking all of this down. Well, Lauren Russ, this is a political bombshell. Accusations of bribery, greed, and deception. And this investigation that took more than a year is far from over. Federal investigators are calling this the largest bribery scheme in the state of Ohio. Five people, including House Speaker Larry Householder, are facing conspiracy to commit racketeering charges. The first time racketeering has been used on a public official in southern Ohio. These allegations are bribery, pure and simple. This was a quid pro quo. This was play, pay to play. So let's take you through these allegations. According to the Southern District's U.S. attorney, Householder created a nonprofit called Generation Now to funnel $61 million from what investigators will only describe as Company A in order to pass and maintain House Bill 6. You might remember. House Bill 6 provided financial bailouts for the state's nuclear power plants in Perry and Oak Harbor. Investigators say the scheme did not stop there. Conspirators are also accused of working to defeat an initiative to put that issue on the ballot. According to the feds, a half million dollars went to householders' personal benefit. The other four facing charges are Jeffrey Longstreth, Neil Clark, Matthew Borges and Juan Suspedes, who investigators say worked in the roles of lobbyists and political advisors. Today's announcement comes with a warning. From city council to the state house, all forms of public corruption are unacceptable. The Southern District's U.S. attorney says they are not done with this case. FBI agents are knocking on more doors, serving more subpoenas, and executing more search warrants. Investigators say this alleged scheme filtered money to 21 political candidates for their general or primary elections. Investigators say out of all of them who won, they voted householder for House Speaker. And the majority of them, Laura, also voted in favor of House Bill 6. Wow, a lot to uncover there. Tiffany Tarpley, thank you.